The Magnate and the Witty Boy Ishikawa Prefecture, Japan Once upon a time, there was a little witty boy. He became famous among the people that his reputation reached the magnate. One day, the magnate galloped with his servants. They ran a long way and finally reached a coast. He got off his horse and indulged in the sea breeze. Gazing at the heart-soothing ocean, an interesting idea came up to his mind. I heard of a witty boy living nearby. Take him here. I want to know how clever the boy is. The servants then presented the little boy to the magnate. So, you are the witty boy. Hey, you, your answer? The little boy has never, ever seen a magnate. So he stared at the man with his eyes wide open. The servants then poked him. Oh, um, yes, but I have never said I'm witty. I, I just never let others defeat me. I, I just answer back. And the people call me witty. Easy, easy boy. I'm not blaming you. I just want to know how witty you are. You know? Um, I don't know. Maybe you can ask me a question, and I will see if I can answer it. All right. So, um, can you drink up all the water in the ocean? Sure thing. Wow, 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 that's interesting. Then show me. You mean now? Why not? Do it right now. Not now. I'm afraid. I just finished my meal. So drinking such a large amount of water now is not good to my body. That makes sense. Then when? Tomorrow morning, maybe. Okay, then I'll be back tomorrow morning. Then... In the next morning. Hey, witty boy, how are you feeling today? Can't be better. Then, are you full? Not at all. I haven't had my breakfast. Then, I want to see you drink up all the water. No problem. But, sir, don't you think there's more water than yesterday? Oh, really? Hmm, maybe. I'm not sure. I think so. Maybe the rain. Sir, can you do me a favor? Sure, go ahead. I am drinking up all the water for you, sir. But could you please just stop the water running from the rivers? Stop all of them. The magnate was silenced. That's what witty means.